we have Damian Lewis here. Uh, if you want to go ahead and start asking questions, the floor is open. Uh, and just please use the raise hand function <coughs> as we move forward. Go ahead, Jeff. You can start us off. Hi, greetings. Uh, welcome to Charlotte. I was wondering about the opportunity to work with Evan O. Was that a, did that entice you to come uh, uh, sign with the Panthers? Say that again. So your phone breaking up bad. Yeah. Hey Jeff, I think your connection's a little uh, tough. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm on the road right now. Um, oh, I'll pull, I, I just pulled over. Um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, my apologies. Uh, the opportunity to work with the Everno. Did that entice you to come uh, sign with the Panthers? One more time, sir. I'm sorry. It, it's jumping real bad from my hand. Hey, hey, Jeff. Damien, Damien is a. We signed him as an offensive guard. He he's not on the defensive line. He's, he's not. Right. No, I'm I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, that was the wrong question. Yeah, please, please go on. I'm 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 in a bad spot. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, Damien. Joe Person with the Athletic. Welcome to Charlotte. Hey, how you doing, Joe? I'm good, man. I appreciate it. I'm just curious, like how much of a factor your familiarity with Dave and the other uh, former Seahawks assistants played into this and just also what what it's going to be like lining up next to uh, or lining up close to uh, Hunt. Uh, yeah, I was blessed to play with Dave here in Seattle, you know, over the couple of years that I've been here. You know, just to be having that thing going around again to play with him with, and the Panthers, you know, is a blessing. And just to have Robert beside me, you know, lying up beside me on the office lineman, you know, I can't wait to get out there with him and do some great things. What did it mean to you for them to invest so much in, in that position? I know we've, we've seen trends the last couple of years where guards are, are, you know, finally getting their their due here and their money. What about the Panthers' specific plan to bring both of you guys in this offseason? Uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, blessed, you know, favorite highly that, you know, team, you know, consider me on a team, just come help out with the team. And like I say, uh, I don't take this for granted, you know, the Panthers is giving me a chance and an opportunity to come on their team and help compete, you know, for a spot. I'm just blessed and, you know, want to get out there in the OTA and train the camp and trying to help win. Let's go to David Newton, followed by Mike Kay. Damien, David Newton, ESPN.com. Uh, glad to have you here. Um, just curious on, the, the, Joe had mentioned the the signing of the two big guys uh, there. You were part of a group like that in Seattle, um, protecting quarterbacks. And how, how will that impact Bryce Young's development? And what did you see just looking at film and how not having that protection inside impacted him last season? Uh, me just looking out for him, you know, I think, you know, Bryce is a great leader, a great person, and, you know, I'm excited. You know, I'm pumped to be out there with him. Like I say, I can't wait to get down there and just pick his brain, you know, see what he's comfortable with and just start learning him, you know, and trying to make him real comfortable. But, but how does – just can you sort of explain the dynamics of how you guys inside can make him more comfortable? Yeah, you know, it basically, uh, you know, the five guys that up, you know, we do our job. We block, make sure he's comfortable. And also having guys like Corbett, you know, Rob, Timo, Icky, other guys, and, you know, just all of us bonding together, you know, make him real comfortable back there. Could you, have you watched much film to, to see how uncomfortable he was last year and how much that inside pressure was a part of that? Yeah, I haven't dead too much film yet on them. I've been, you know, watching myself here in Seattle. But, you know, I'm diving into it. Like I said, I can't wait to get down there and, you know, bond with the guy. Okay, so you haven't met Bryce or talked to him on the phone or anything? Not yet. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, Damien. Welcome to uh, Charlotte. Congratulations on the contract. Uh, Dave Canales told us that he is very stubborn when it comes to the run game. He wants to run the football as an offensive lineman, particularly an interior offensive lineman. What does that say to you about the tenacity of how he wants to run this offense and and how is it easy is it to buy in when you're not having to pass block constantly? Come on now. I know that you know, like I know that all offensive linemen want to run the ball. 
we want to run straight at you. But, you know, him and having that mindset, you know, I think it's a dummy, you know, bringing that mean, nasty, tough mentality towards the team. And, you know, I'm excited. You know, I'm ready to get down there and cook it up. I mean, the guard position is a pretty gritty position. You're in like kind of an elevator. You're in a closed space. You're you're in these trenches. Um, you know, from from the standpoint of of kind of setting the tone, what is it that you like to do when you when you go out there on the field and and kind of get those first couple of snaps? Uh, you know, you have butterflies on the first ball. After that first, you know what time it is. And in my head, I'm thinking about I'm finna punish you every play. Like, I'm finna set the tone. I'm going to be this tone setter. So, you know, I'm thinking about putting your face in the ground. Thanks. Sure. All right, let's go to Alex Zetlow. Hi, Damian. Alex Zetlow with the Charlotte Observer as well here. Um, happy early birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, uh, Speaking of your age, you won't be – the youngest person on this offensive line. I'm curious about your mentorship or your approach to mentorship and if that's something you're looking forward to do um, in Carolina. Yeah, I definitely, you know, plan on, you know, being a leader, you know, coming there with, you know, spoken word, motivating the young guys and older guys, you know, getting a team going in the right direction and just be an example, you know, preaching, you know, I'm here for you. You know, it's all out, you know, being that leader in the locker room or outside of the city, on and off the field. So, you know, just being my voice, being present around the uh, locker room. Who who has been a mentor of yours through your first couple of years and like how have they impacted you? Uh, you know, I was blessed to play with Russell, you know, my rookie year when I first came out here in Seattle, you know, he took me in and helped me, you know, took my game to another level. And I also look up to Mike, Michael Potty, you know, he taught me a lot, you know, before he retired, but it's more than him, you know, guys like Dwayne Brown, uh, Brandon Shell, and other guys. So, you know, I'm just grateful, you know, to play with those guys. Also, Gino, you know, just to take my game to a whole nother level. In what ways were they able to do that? Um, if you could just kind of take me in, like, in what ways were they able to take your games to another uh, level? You know, being smart on and off the field, you know, how to break down film, you know, what to see, what to watch for, you know, blitz pick up and, you know, reading out uh, blitz players and, you know, how to attack this, you know, how to attack defense. But yeah, you know, like I said, I'm just blessed for to be around old guys, even with technique with the big guys, Mike down. So I'm really blessed. Thanks, Damien. Thank right, let's go to Vash Ty Hurt, followed by Joe Person. Hi, Damien. Welcome to Carolina. I'm Vash Ty Hurt with Carolina Blitz. Uh, can you just take us through that free agency period? Did Seattle try to resign you? And if if so, or why did you decide to sign with Carolina outside of the money? Of course. Uh, you know, I I live I, I hired a great agency, you know, uh, you know, they did with the financial part. I'm just here to play ball, you know, they took care of for me. And, you know, I end up in here in Carolina. So, you know, I'm excited. This is my new home. I can't wait to get down and, you know, give it my all. I know you're from what, Mississippi, right? Yes, ma'am. Any Carolina connections? Anybody do you know anybody on the team outside? And of course you played uh under Canales in Seattle, but do you know any players? Uh, I played with Taryn Marshall and Stefan Seller at LSU. So, you know, those two guys I'm real familiar with. Thank you. That's mine. Damien, you mentioned uh playing with Russ. How would that experience I mean he's kind of a, a shorter stature quarterback, much like Bryce. Anything from that experience that'll carry over for you and kind of related to the earlier question about interior protection? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I got to do my job. The offensive lineman got to do their job. You know, Russ going to be Russ, Bryce going to be Bryce. And, you know, like I said, I don't want who got to do my job, you know, protect them, make sure both of them guys are comfortable and both of them great guys. Have uh, you, you know Terrace Marshall? You said and Sullivan. Had you spent much time in uh, Charlotte over the years, and any background in the Carolinas? 
Now, this is my first time stepping a foot in Ca uh, Carolina. So, you know, I'm new to it. Well, good luck uh, getting comfortable and familiar with it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any more questions for Damien? All right. Thanks, Damien. Yeah. Uh, hey, Dylan. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Alex, Dylan, go ahead, no, no, no. One? Uh, yeah, Alex, go ahead. Okay. Um, Damien, Alex, again. Uh, you've missed six games in three years, which is pretty, which is quite good. It's quite good considering the fact that. Uh, this Carolina Panthers offensive line battled injury real bad last year. Um, how have you been able to avoid the injury bug? Um, and like how, and if you could just speak to how important that is as an offensive line to have a lot of reps together. Um, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, first I think, you know, fan people in the LA room, you know, your trainer, fan somebody in there and, you know, pick them, and help them uh find somebody in there. Can y'all still hear me? My phone went out. Yeah, hear me. We can hear you, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, you find somebody in the LA room, you know, they're gonna help you through this journey. Like I told you I had I was blessed with older guys, you know, just looking around, a guy like Dwayne Brain, Dwayne Brown, you know, played for so many years and you know, picking his brain, you know, he's telling me, you know, you got to stay in the training room, you know take care of your body, even you coming out late, going up early, so take care of your body. And that right there really molded to me, you know, seeing him, you know, playing for so many years and he still got the juice. So, you know, I'll be trying to, you know, get there and take care of my body, anything off the field, even though I got to pay for massages, you know, needles. But yeah, uh, I'm in the, weight, in the weight room every day. I'm in the training room, ice and cold tub, taking care of myself. And that's why I think, you know, guys in the league, you know, should be doing, you know, if they want to play long. Yeah. And, and then uh, can you speak to uh, why it's so important to have an offensive line, have chemistry and not be interrupted by injuries? Like why that's so important? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's five up, five guys up. We all, we're going to have a rotation, but uh, it definitely, you know, all of us should be able to communicate, know what's going on make sure everybody on one pace, you know, one heartbeat <laughs> and, you know, everybody clicking. So it's great to have a group of guys, just everybody on one, you know, line. So we know what's going on and communicating well. So everything can be put in place. Right. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> David, do you have a question? Yeah. I want to ask you one more on the follow up on you on the put, put the opponent's face in the ground. Uh, wh where do you get that mindset from? And how did, is that aggressiveness you use as offensive lineman? Uh, it's just something been in me all my life, you know. Uh, like, be honest, it's just an attitude that I kept with me ever since I was young. When I was in Katrina in 2005, you know, I almost lost my mom then. It's just been an attitude that so I got to get us out. And, you know, I felt in love with the game of football by playing flag football. But I was saying, like, it's me versus you. And I'm going to choose me every time. So I got to be dumb in everything I do, even, you know, if I got to keep running through your face for the get well met. But either way, that go, you going down. Again, the experience with Katrina was, I mean, how did that impact your life, your family? I mean, was, did y'all experience much damage or, or loss or what? Yeah, me and my mom, <clears throat> at that time with me and my mom and my younger brother, you know, we were down now like, you know, homeless and we were stuck in Katrina, you know. And fortunately, we ended up getting on a lifeboat and just, you know, surviving out through the week and end up migrating up north towards Kent, Mississippi, where I went to high school at, but, you know, thank God, you know, he had a plan for everything. He saw stuff around the corner that I couldn't see. So, you know, I look back now, uh, you know, I don't realize, I don't too much just, you know, care for the past because I look now and see where he took me to. And, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that, you know. Did you all rebuilt and everything good for everybody now or? Yeah, my mama, you know, she's situated, and my brother, they situated, you know. Thank God I'm just, you know, here to, you know, afford for them.
Cool. And one last thing, I, I'm asking all these questions. Uh, is it different protecting a short quarterback like Russell, or or what you can have at Bryce, and it is a six foot four quarterback? Nah, it don't matter. You know, like I said, we're the one who got to do the job. We got to stand in front and make sure the old guy comfortable. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Damien. Thank you. Thank you for having me.